Hello, you are listening to Pankaj Rai and in this video we are going to discuss the sixth Hotz problem of algebra. So let us begin. The question says that if the roots of quadratic equation ax square plus cx plus c equals to 0 are in the ratio p is to q, so the roots are in the ratio p is to q, then we have to show something that LHS equal to RHS. So let us begin. Let us assume that the roots of this quadratic equation are alpha and beta. We know that the sum of roots that is alpha plus beta is given by minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square. So that would be minus coefficient of x which is minus c upon coefficient of x square which is a. So alpha plus beta is minus c by a. We also know that the product of roots that is alpha beta is given by the constant term upon coefficient of x square. So that would be constant term so it is c upon coefficient of x square so it is again a so it is c by a. And we have also been given that the roots are in the ratio p is to q. So I will write the roots alpha by beta, they are in the ratio p is to q. So these are the given conditions and by using these we have to prove this. So let us begin with the LHS. So left hand side is given to us as root of p by q plus root of q by p plus root of c by a. So now we have to use all these conditions. We have been given that p by q from here is alpha by beta. So let me substitute. So this would be root of alpha by beta plus root of q by p. q by p could be taken as beta by alpha plus root of c by a. As you can see from here c by a is actually alpha beta. So I'll write over here alpha beta. So I'll just separate the roots. So I'll write as root alpha upon root beta plus root beta upon root alpha plus root alpha into root beta. Next thing, let me cross multiply this thing, these two terms. So it will be root alpha into root alpha, root alpha into root alpha plus root beta into root beta plus root beta into root beta upon the product of these two terms that would be root alpha into root beta and this term will remain as it is which is root alpha into root beta. Now let me cross multiply this over here. So we will have root alpha into root alpha plus root beta into root beta plus these two terms will get multiplied by these two terms. So that is root alpha into root beta multiplied by this term which is root alpha into root beta over root alpha into root beta. Now as you can see root alpha into root alpha will become alpha plus root beta into root beta will become beta plus root alpha into root alpha that would be alpha and root beta into root beta will be into beta upon root alpha into root beta. Now as you can see alpha plus beta from here alpha plus beta is actually minus c by a. So alpha plus beta is minus c by a plus alpha beta as you can see from here alpha beta is actually c by a. So that is c by a upon root alpha into root beta. So this is minus c by a plus c by a. So minus c by a plus c by a is actually 0 upon root alpha into root beta and 0 upon root alpha into root beta is 0 and that is equal to the RHS. So this is equal to the RHS. Hence we have proved that LHS is equal to RHS. Thank you very much.